As Republicans struggle to unify their party, a new group of moderates on the other side of the aisle has emerged. The White House taking notice and reaching out to members of the new Democrat coalition as they try to strike deals on issues like health care, like infrastructure as well. I'm joined now by one of those moderate Democrats, Congressman Scott Peters of California's 52nd District. Congressman, thanks for your time, sir. Thanks, Craig. Good to be with you. And your constituents have been fairly vocal, as I understand it, about their opposition <laughs> to President Trump. And at the same time, you have said that you will, quote, work with anyone who has a good idea, regardless of political party. Are you at all concerned about the kind of backlash that might trigger from your constituents? Look, my job is to come here and work with other leaders to uh, to get things done. And whether it's whether they're Republicans or Democrats, and even President Trump, if he comes to us with uh, with ideas that make sense for the country, for the district, uh, I will work with him. I always say that uh, I'm from San Diego. I don't come to Washington D.C. for the weather. We come to solve <laughs> problems on behalf of the American people. Uh, let's let's talk about one of those items that uh, the White House has indicated they might be willing to work with Democrats on. Um, Zombie Trump care, uh, this rumor that you may be called back next week to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Uh, what are you hearing about that? What's your take on it? And is there any Republican proposal for which you would vote? You know, they don't talk to us, Craig, so I don't hear anything about it. And that's the remarkable thing is with respect to this health care bill, I'm on the Energy and Commerce Committee, which we, we marked that up on a Wednesday. The bill had only come out on a Monday. Uh, we didn't even have a chance to look at it. If you were a Republican and you wanted to look at that bill, you had to do it uh, with, with kind of like a security clearance, like it was a, a security document. It makes no sense. They can't find the votes that they need to uh, redeem or, or improve the health care law with just Republicans. It's not the House of Republicans. It's the House of Representatives. Have them come work with Democrats who we see there's, there's a need in many markets to improve competition, to, to lower costs, to provide more access to younger people. We're willing to do that. We're eager to do it. You've got to let us in the room. You, you just indicated that you're willing to, to work with Republicans, but you just said that, that they're, they're not talking to you. How can you work with them if you're not talking to them? Well, you know, the problem with the health care law, for instance, I hope this doesn't happen with the tax, the tax reform, is that it came from their leadership. And, um, uh, you know, a lot of the rank and file members, people who really come here to, to work through these problems, leaders who want to work together, Republicans and Democrats, uh, we're just not given the freedom to do that. So when they say no amendments on the floor, when they, when they don't take any of our amendments in the committee, that's really not what I mean. What I mean is let's sit down, let's listen to one another, uh, let's figure out where we can agree uh, rather than uh, trying to force these disagreements that seem to be really politically driven. As we're having this conversation, President Xi Jinping uh, has, has landed here in, in Florida getting set for that face-to-face -face with President Trump. One of the items certainly on the agenda, Syria. Co Congressman, uh, do you have any concern that, that the president could issue a strike on Syria um, without congressional approval? We really need to be involved in that decision, too. I mean, the decision to launch a, a, a strike uh, against a foreign nation is something that should not be done lightly. It need not be done, uh, in this instance, just by the president. He should come to Congress. And again, we should be working together. Uh, we've lost the, we seem to have lost the ability to remember that we're Americans first and Republicans and Democrats 